Mind if I take the Asti Spumoni out for a little spin? Sorry, Fox. Quack hasn't had a chance to fix it since you cracked it up escaping from the evil Dr. Matey. Need to get to that Feta factory and find out if Mr. Utterly. Professor Quack will fill that vending machine up with spy gadgets as soon as he arrives. So make like a doctor and have some patience. I sure wish Quack would get here so I could get some more of those nifty spy gadgets. If I had the knack, I'd take a crack at giving this empty vending machine a whack and a smack. But I suppose Quack would give me some flack when he gets back to this shack. Don't you have better things to do than to fiddle around with an empty vending machine? Make impervious steel doors pervious. <coughs> now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? This must be the temperature control for this queen of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. Maybe that lever will help me get Mr. Utterly's rump roast down from there. I wonder if this is how they make beef jerky. <laughs> the little beasties seem to be slowing down. <laughs> should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. 
I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. Don't bother me right now. I'm busy inventing a new spy gadget that will send secret messages with aromas. You mean a gadget that writes with smells? Yes. It's a pen that uses invisible stink. Professor Quack, what's the forecast? Well, my spy radar here says that there is a strong possibility of there being some weather today. How's your assignment going? Have you stopped that loony lunatic William the Kid yet? No, not yet. But don't worry. I'll get that goat's goat one way or another. Mr. Utterly, why did you have to swallow the code in the first place? Couldn't you have put it in your pocket? Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. That would have been a lot easier in the end, huh? If I don't get that code out of you, I may never be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. How long is your arm? So, exactly how long does the average cow's digestive system take to process food? You mean, uh, well, that would be opening up a really messy topic of discussion. We need to find a way to see that code inside you, Mr. Utterly. I was afraid you were going to say that. I have to warn you, I have a pretty low tolerance for pain. I once passed out from a paper cut I got while licking a stamp. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies.
if there was just some way to see inside you. Maybe we could call the Psychic Cows Network and let one of their friendly representatives make a prediction. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. That's the x-ray gum. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the spy putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! That's the spy putty. So, exactly how long does the average cow's digestive system take to process food? You mean, uh, well, that would be opening up a really messy topic of discussion. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. His ticker looks like it needs winding. His ticker looks like it needs winding. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. I found the notes! All right, now I need to find out where that key is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. I've got to look for that key. William the Kid must be stopped. Without that key, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. It looks like I need to find that key. If I could find that key, then I'd be making some progress. It looks like I need to find that key. 